Attention all Baldur's Gate 3 modders. Want to take your mods to an even higher level? This video will show you how to give your custom class mod custom passives that you design. Like my other videos, we'll see how to do this easily using my tool Polymath. It takes away most of the tedium of making brand new class and subclass mods. Before starting, my acquaintance Steve wanted me to show a video about his team's ghost hunting adventures. Welcome to Ghost Hunters. Today is a very special edition. We are going exotic, and we're going to exercise a house possessed by what the owner has told me is a tiefling. I've been told that the ghost belonging to one Carlac Cliffgate is friendly, but can get quite fiery. Whatever that means. Stay tuned. Hopefully everything turns out all right for them. So let's learn how to add custom passives to your custom class mods. Why is this awesome? It offers even more customizability. Want to resist psychic damage when Halson finds your lack of faith in the earth disturbing? Make it a passive. These add-ons will make your mods stand out, helping their popularity. Let's get started. First, download my tool Polymath from Nexus Mods and install the required software as directed by my prior videos. The links to these are in the video description. Second, launch it and click the Create Custom Passives button on the main menu. Since my understanding is that those ghost hunters didn't make it, and the videos are actually a cautionary tale, we're gonna theme our passive around their last adventure. Don't forget to donate to the- Ah, Steve! You disrupted the salt barrier! You killed us! Fun by supporting me on my Patreon. Let's name our passive Carlac Killgate. With a description of that's for someone teeny tiny, not biggie biggie. We'll pick a passive template of Agonizing Blast because it has an entry for each of the major fields that we're going to edit. Properties particularly is useful because you can use that to define whether or not your passive is hidden or whether or not a player can see it on their character stats menu. To have it show up there, be sure that the option highlighted is one of the entries. Boost can then add fun perks as part of the passive like extra dexterity or extra health if you want to be a little more functional. Fortunately for ghost hunters, you can also give your class a status immunity against being sweaty, or perhaps something more creative, which you should share in the video comments. Stats, functor, context, and conditions roughly define the specific instances when your passive will be active, such as when you're executing an attack. You can keep your stat sphuncter context field empty if you want your status immunity to sweat being active all the time, like 24 hour deodorant. Conditions offer additional means of defining when your passive is going to be active, such as when you attack using a very specific spell. So if you only wanted to be immune to being sweaty when a Starion has his back to you. Pick Not Facing Me. The stats functor field is essentially another boost, only applied when the stats functor's context and conditions are met. So set it to deal psychic damage when a Starion has his back to you, and not giving you the appropriate amount of attention. There's possibly more nuance to these fields than that, so let me know if it's a little bit more quirky than it seems to help me and the rest of the people watching this video. Once you're done, click Create Passive. Before adding it to your class, let's watch part two of the cautionary tale of the ghost hunters. I'm set up in the house and things are quiet. I have to admit, I'm <laughs> a little bit nervous. I've never dealt with a teethling before and it creeps me out just a little bit. The owner kept on saying that she heard the voice say, I could go for a good meal over and over again. I just hope to make it through the night. <laughs> Stay tuned. Third, return to the main menu. Go to the make class or subclass widget and make your mod as covered in my prior videos, which are also in the video description. The change here is that your custom passive will be at the very top of the list of passives on the passives tab. 
so add it, and then go ahead and create your mod. Fourth, let's test it out. Since we won't cover how to give your class goodies at every level in this video, delete the progressions every level.lsx file in the progressions folder. Refer to my past video, which is also in the video description, if you want to learn how to give something to your class mods at every level. Then drag your mod onto the shiny little blue spot in the Baldur's Gate 3 Modders multi-tool, extract, then drag the pack file into the Baldur's Gate 3 mod manager, launch the game, and you'll see that your passive is all ready. Before going into the deep dive, let's watch the final video in that Ghost Hunter's log. I, I don't think I'm gonna make it, guys. I, I, I never saw this coming. After saying Carlac Cliffgate five times, all the doors have locked. <laughs> I can't, I can't get out. The notebook that the boss said to put down is now filled up with the phrase What a charmer! Over and over again. What? The, the EMF is peaking! Let me live! Well, that didn't sound good. So how does this all work? It only takes three very straightforward steps. First, all those custom entries that you assign to your passive, along with all the entries for the fields that are linked to the template passive, are written to the passive underscore mod name.txt file in your stats folder in your mod. And this specific file and its path is shown on the screen. Second, your passive code name is then added to your progressions file in the passives field, ensuring that your class gets it. Third, the display name and description that you assign to your passive are then written to the localization file. Much simpler than custom weapons and armor. Wait, there appears to be one last video and it's called Phasmophobia? <laughs> Steve, <laughs> Steve got stuck in the house with the, with the tiefling revenant. What an idiot! <laughs> Modding is a lot of fun, even if it does come with challenges sometimes. As you have seen, giving your class mod passives can be very straightforward. Let me know in the video comments what exciting things that you plan to make, and like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and Starship out. Myself and this tower are now your allies. When the time comes, we will stand by you however necessary.